concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this, I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. No, uh, oh, it's very sad. R.I.P. Gilbert. He died as he lived, packing heat. Like, literal heat. Like, he has a friggin' flamethrower for some reason. Uh, but thanks, man. I appreciate it. Guess maybe I should... Maybe make the rounds, see if I get... any other goodies. <laughs> Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Okay, gonna need a little more arcane. Ugh, Gilbert, don't be gross. I appreciate the free weapon and everything, but come on. Let's try to keep it down. Alrighty, so my brother and I were having a little bit of Bloodborne chat, comparing notes about our father Gascoigne fights, when he told me that there's an NPC here that I missed that is, uh, well, more than a little relevant to the fight, let's just say. Are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And this is where you look for my mum. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. Thank you. My mum wears a red jade brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. Oh, silly mom, always leaving the music box at home. What a doofish. Oh, it's that she, she was killed because of... Oh, whoops. Uh, no, so some interesting lore about the this little girl is that her parents are Father Gascoigne and the woman that we found on the rooftop after the fight. And she is the one that we picked up this red jeweled brooch from. The implication being that the mother didn't have the music box to calm him down, and that Father Gascoigne just ended up killing her. And uh, you can actually use the music box during the fight, and when you do, you will briefly stun the boss, which just kind of allows you to wail on him for a few seconds. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Still can't find my mom. Oh boy. I'm starting to think I might not have made the right call here. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, now you tell me. You mean breaking her heart isn't treating her with care? Please. What are you saying down there? What are you muttering under your breath? You calling her mom a doofus? Is that what's going on? Saying she's a big dumb idiot, huh? For leaving the music box at home. Well, I'll teach you some manners. Consider these manners taught. Alright, well, I think we're done here. No, 
Well, <laughs> guess if I wasn't even gonna bother using the ladder, I might as well have just jumped across. Oh well. Well, howdy folks. I bet you thought old Bumble forgot all about this place. And I only did for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so I figured I might as well come back and see what's down here. Sort of looks like it's just an extension of the sewers. So, yeah, it's probably good to get this out of the way now before I go too much further. And it looks like there is a way back. I thought that there wasn't going to be, but yeah, there's a ladder right there. So that's good to know. Could have dropped down on this guy's head, but I don't quite have the patience for that. Might as well go in canes a blazing, as they say. Whoops, that was not the right button. I'm sure that some of you appreciate my thoroughness in trying to double tap the werewolf, but I uh I cannot tell a lie. That was not what I what I was trying to do. I feel like I should I should try working on my... Yeah, I got it. thought it was going to fall off. Um, yeah, I should probably practice my reposts on these guys. I'm just a little nervous, is all. Yeah, I'm not actually going to bother climbing that. Like, I know that it's just going to lead back up to the top, so there's, there's no point, really. Okay, and this definitely looks like it is a new area that is not just leading me to some place I've already been. I was a little afraid that was the case, so starting to worry, but... Oop. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't fight the rats out in the open here. This does seem like a bit of a step down from the enemies I've been fighting lately, huh? <laughs> like those big dudes with the axes and the balls and chains and... Well, now we're back to rats. <laughs> oh, but see, these are rats with knives. Rats who are fully prepared to shank a guy, like right in the kidneys even. So, I don't know if that's any sort of consolation. Uh, I'm, I'm being told no? No, it's not? Okay. Is there really nothing down here? There's no loot? <laughs> uh, alright, Bloodborne. I'm not sure I agree with your philosophy that murdering rats is its own reward, but I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Time to get my repost on. Nope. I feel like that. Ah, oh, jeez. I sort of whiffed with the, the bullet there, but it... Ah, no, that was definitely too early. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> You'll just have to bear with me, folks. God damn it. Well... <laughs> kind of a Pyrrhic victory, but... I'll I'll get I'll get there. I'll get the hang of it. I never really bothered parrying in any of the Dark Souls games, so I'm admittedly a little rusty when it comes to that stuff. But practice makes perfect, as they say. You'll never repose a werewolf without taking a few clobberings to the face, as they also say. Right? Yeah, people say that, I'm pretty sure.
I don't want to tell you how to do your job, fella, but if you want a successful sneak attack, maybe, I don't know, breathe through your nose or something. Okay, and that's just... yeah, I've been down there before. Oh, although don't I already have... Yeah. Oh, or I guess... Yeah, I guess I must have started out with the, the Yarnum... stuff. Yeah, definitely gonna keep rocking the top hat, though. Eh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have landed on that plank. I think I just undershot it a little bit. Oh, oh. Too late now. Wasn't expecting to get that. I, uh... Thought I was gonna be a little too off-center. For it, but it's all right. Guess it doesn't really matter in the end. Although to the pig, I, I suppose it does. I think the pig's just glad he didn't get my cane in his end. Am I right? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, of course the Spectre's not gonna play. <laughs> well, if there are a couple of Spectres right here... Just trying to slowly edge over... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything down there. I, I guess they could have always died to the pig, but I think it's probably safe to say that that is not safe to drop down. And if it is, then I guess let me know when I'll head back. Dang, this is a long ladder. <laughs> I like how even though there's no good reason for them to do so, they still set off the flaming boulder. We set up this trap, damn it, and we're gonna spring it. Well, shoot. Yeah, thanks. Eh. Uh, I want my blood echoes back, but the little one will have to wait, I guess. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. I don't know why, uh... First one didn't work, maybe it was because he was just on the high ground with the stairs or something. But I still got him. Still avenged myself. That's all that matters. Very well. Let me Alright. So gonna level up so that I can try out the flamethrower and or the flame sprayer, I suppose, if you'd wanna be want to be technical about it. Um, and the repeating pistol. So, it didn't really well, anticipate hunter. putting points into Blood Tinge and Arcane, but I guess it doesn't hurt to try stuff out. Baby. Gilbert, you son of a gun. 
it seems to have burned well I wasn't going for a pun or anything but it does seem to go through ammo pretty quickly so that seems like kind of a major downside to it don't mind me just taking out the weeds and the flowers I guess not the flowers, seeing as how they appear to be indestructible. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fertilizer you guys are using here, but whatever it is, it's working. Ah, oh, the hunter. Alive and well, are ya? This here is a safe spot. Next, if you find any sane survivors, tell them to seek shelter at Erden Chapel. Cause there's nothing to fear here. <laughs> Well, I can think of one thing. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then... If you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. If you find anyone, you can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Okay, nice. Yeah, glad I decided to keep making the rounds with all the uh, doors and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. This is a real head scratcher. I can either send people to a hot babe or, alternatively, Sir Creepazoid in the church. Decisions, decisions. Oh boy, here we go. I swear to God. You're from round here. Well, oh no, I nope. Not having it. I am not in the mood for raspberries today, ma'am. No thanks. I guess making the rounds doesn't always pay off. I'd say mostly it's not paying off. Everyone's just telling me to to piss off and they're making fart noises at me and I don't I don't care for it. Also, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to that one lady who I can send away. I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, yeah. Good news, miserable person! So what is it now? A much better way to pass the time. In this found me a nice, safe place. I have indeed. I think. Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go split some throats. Get this mess done with. Wow. Oh, enough with you. Trot along. Chop, chop. Oh, I'll give you a chop chop. You know, I'm starting to think that the withhold information option might not have been such a bad idea. Telling me to trot along. The nerve. Oh. Some interesting cape physics for, <laughs> for a sec there.
No. No. Ah, jeez. Making the rounds started off on such a high note. How did it all go so wrong? Well, this sucks. <laughs> God, old Bumble can't catch a break today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's fine. You just hang tight. Not like I need to get back up there and talk to the plague doctor lady or nothing. Who cares? Hey, you jerk. <laughs> I'd rather not waste them, but if I must. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good. Great throw. God damn it. This jerk is gonna make me loop all the way around the map. Just because he's too much of a dongish to use a ladder properly. Man, what a dingish. Oh, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> so, what's this I hear about? A reward? Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank? The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. Oh, no. There may yet be humans out there. If you find them, I endeavor to treat every survivor there is. So please, be a saint. You had to throw in that creepy laugh at the end, didn't you? Just couldn't, couldn't let it be. <laughs> couldn't let me think that I made the right decision. No, of course not. All right, well... <laughs> I think I made enough of a mess for one day.